Hello friends, have you ever eaten black pork? Let's discover the secrets to success in raising black pigs and preserving the indigenous black pig breed. Join us to experience the black pork processing line right in this video. Deciding on the black pig breed to start a breeding project is an important part of ensuring your success. It is important that you choose a black pig breed that is sustainable and suitable for the specific climate and soil conditions of your locality. This will help ensure that the pigs will adapt well to the environment and achieve their best performance. Some popular options you should consider when learning about black pig breeds includes the Andalusian black pig, Daruk black pig, and Iberico black pig. Each breed has its own characteristics and learning carefully about each breed will help you make a smart choice. Iberico black pigs, a native black pig breed of Spain, are famous for their ability to accumulate good fat, creating a characteristic flavor for pork. If you are interested in unique and premium pork production, this breed may be the top choice. Now let's see how this black pig breed is raised. The barn isn't only where acorn eating black pigs will live, but is also an important factor in their development and health. When building a barn, you need to carefully consider the location. Make sure it is placed in a high, dry location to avoid flooding during stormy weather. The barn also needs to be designed to have enough natural light and wind, creating a cool and reasonable environment for black pigs. Besides creating good living conditions, the main food of black pigs is eating acorn, also plays an important role in the breeding process. Acorns are a source of food rich in nutrients, helping pigs grow healthily. However, to ensure nutritional balance, pigs also need to be provided with additional concentrates such as corn and rice barn. Dietary variety helps ensure that pigs receive the nutrients they need to grow and maintain good health. The number of pigs and output on the farm will depend on the scale and method of farming. Typically, an acorn eating black pig farm has a scale of several hundred to several thousand pigs. A black pig eating acorns can reach a weight of about 100 to 120 kilograms. According to reporters from the Spanish Ham Association in 2019, Spain produced about 2.3 million Iberico hams. However, in 2020, Due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, 
and social distancing measures, production output decreased significantly. After being thoroughly prepared, removing the skin and removing the outer layer of fat, the pork leg will be chilled overnight to firm up the meat. Then, the Iberico Belota pork leg is marinated with Mediterranean sea salt. This salting process helps prevent the growth of harmful microorganisms on thigh meat. Normally, the thighs will be soaked in salt for two days. After salting the pork leg, it'll be washed but into the incubation room and hung to dry. Here, the thighs are controlled for quality and parameters, such as temperature and humidity. To be able to meet the transition in high meat, this process takes 60 to 100 days. After finishing the artificial drying process, the thighs will be brought into the room to dry naturally by allowing natural air into the room. Staff will control the airflow into the room by opening and closing windows to allow air to circulate evenly with their thighs. This helps the thighs to produce fungi that help metabolize the thighs in the next stage. Before moving on to the next step, the thighs are cleaned with sunflower oil and then put into the main stew. This process can take up to 8 months. Iberico ham processing plants in Spain are often concentrated in areas with the tradition of Iberico pig farming and meat processing, such as Extremadura, Salamanca, and Andalusia. Iberico pig farms are typically distributed throughout southeastern Spain, including the provinces of Huelva, Cordoba, and Badajoz and Seville. However, Iberico ham processing factories are usually not located on pig farms, but are often concentrated in industrial zones near Iberico pig production areas to facilitate transportation and meat processing. To ensure product quality, Iberico black pigs must be subjected to quality inspection and evaluation by Spanish government agencies before being allowed to produce products from Iberico black pigs. In addition to raising black pigs that eat acorns, an important part of the black pig industry in Spain is the export of specialty food products such as salted pork thighs, according to statistics from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United States FAO, and the European Free Trade Agency the EU. The countries that import the most Spanish salted pork thighs are usually Asian countries such as Japan, China, and Korea. These countries appreciate the value and the quality of salted pork products from Spain. This isn't only a delicious dish, but also shows respect for the unique cuisine of Spain. In addition to Spain and Asian countries, 
There are many other countries around the world that import Spanish salted pork thighs, including the US, Canada, Australia, European countries and the Middle East region. There are all markets with developed culinary backgrounds and customers often set high prices for high-end food products such as Spanish salted pork thighs. Thanks to the meticulous care and raising of black pigs, as well as the traditional production process, Spain has earned a global reputation for cured hams and related food products. The development of this industry not only contributes to the national economy, but also promotes Spanish culinary culture on the world map. So the real question is, have you ever eaten this dish? Please comment below in the comment section to let us know. And for now, let's watch the next video. Texas is known as one of the largest cattle breeding centers in the U.S. These cows will be raised in a very spacious environment in small numbers. Large farms with hundreds of acres are one of the ideal places to raise Angus cattle. They are provided with dry straw and some grains to supplement nutrients. Their health will be monitored regularly by these farm owners. Feeders around the farm will be supplied with cornmeal, grain, and some corn silage. The area in the middle of the farm will be provided with additional straw and dry straw. Surely you will wonder, why not feed them in the same place? This species of Angus cow likes to live in a natural environment, so finding food for itself is something they do every day. After each grain meal, they will probably return to the middle of the farm to both rest and eat dry straw. This is a farming method that most large Angus cattle farms often use. Make sure they have the best development environment. As winter approaches and snow begins to cover farms, Texas farmers face a major challenge. However, Angus beef has developed the ability to adapt to all weather conditions. Under heavy snow and temperatures below minus 5 degrees, they still exist. On outdoor farms, Angus cows will be spread with layers of straw to keep them warm and protected from the cold of winter. Their food includes hay, corn silage and grains, which help maintain health in this harsh weather. After about 9 to 10 months, Angus cows begin to give birth. Newborn Angus calves can stand up on their own after just a few minutes to a few hours. This demonstrates their compatibility and readiness for the natural environment. During spring, Angus cows live a more vibrant life. Ranchers will graze Angus cows on grassy fields. The cows ventured around the bustling green grass and enjoyed the warm weather. They also spend a lot of time with calves, teaching them how to find food and water. The maturation of Angus calves involves more than just gaining weight and growing bigger.
they also continue to learn from their surroundings and from the older cows in the herd. They learn how to protect themselves and use their bodies to interact with the world around them based on how their mothers treat them. Every day they learn to eat green grass and exercise by running and jumping. The steps and days that pass are memories of growing up. Gradually Angus calves become larger, have strong bodies, and adapt well to the green and challenging environment. After each tropical summer, Angus cows go through an incredible period of growth. From the first herb, green grass, to a solid meal the following month, they become strong enough to begin a new phase. They reach the peak of maturity, ready to enter the reproductive cycle. During the process from birth to becoming an adult cow, Angus calves gain weight over time. From a birth weight of about a few dozen kilograms, they can double or more within the first year of life. As fall approaches, green grass gradually withers, and Texas farmers begin preparing for the coming winter. Angus cows go through a period of eating hay and other feed sources available in the barn. This is also the time when farmers pay special attention to the health of their cows and prepare thicker layers of straw to keep them warm during the cold winter months. After about 18 months to 24 months of age, the weight ranges from about 1,300 to 1,800 pounds. At this time, the beef quality of the cow has developed well, ensuring good taste and high nutrition. They will be taken to the auction area and then taken to meat processing plants. Their prices will vary according to each farming area and the origin of the cows. A large number of people who love this cow are here to buy them. They may be traders or owners of certain restaurants. Have you ever tried this type of beef? How does it taste? Please comment in the comment section to let us know. And now let's watch the video together. Next is the United States, with about half a million Wagyu cattle, accounting for about 25%. Australia and Brazil are the next two largest countries, with about 300,000 to 100,000 Wagyu cattle, accounting for about 10% and 5% respectively. The size of a Wagyu beef farm often depends on many factors, such as the number of cows, climatic conditions, and farming purposes. However, in general, these farms often have an area of 100 hectares or more. The outdoor farming for cows accounts for 10% to 20% of the farm's overall area surrounded by fences to prevent cows from running away and protect them from wild species. Regarding Wagyu cattle breed capital, the cost usually ranges from $10,000 to $50,000 per head, depending on the quality and origin of the cow breed.
In addition to breeding costs, farms must pay additional costs for food, health care, farm construction, and operations, increasing the total cost of owning a Wagyu beef farm to millions of dollars. Wagyu cows usually give birth in the spring, from March to May, when the weather is warm and favorable for the development of calves. Wagyu calves continue to eat their mother's milk for about eight to six months, being breastfeed three to four times per day during this period. The weaning process of Wagyu calves usually takes place when they reach six to eight months of age. At this time, they will be chipped on the farm. This chip tag helps track information about cows, including birth date, breed, parents, and health status. Wagyu cow bedding is often sprayed by machine in the early morning before the cows wake up to keep the calves and mother cows warm in cold weather. Nutritious grains are often provided in the morning before cows graze when their nutritional needs are especially high for growth. Although typically some farms may keep Wagyu cattle longer so that they reach their peak weight between 2 to 3 years of age with an average weight of 1500 to 2000 pounds. Wagyu beef is highly appreciated for its quality with a delicious soft and fatty flavor making it a popular choice in many countries around the world. Wagyu cattle auctions usually take place in the fall, from September to November, when the cows reach their best weight and quality. Globally, there are hundreds of Wagyu auctions taking place each year, held in many countries such as Japan, the United States, Australia, Brazil, and South Korea. The largest auction in the world is that of the Japan Wagyu Registry Association, held annually in Kobe City. Ayogo Prefecture, Japan, the price of Wagyu beef is particularly high with prices reaching $400 per kilogram in Japan and very high prices in other countries. The most expensive cow in history is a Kobe A5 Wagyu, which sold for $500,000 in 2016. The cow weighed 1,100 pounds and had a marbling BMS ratio of 12. Wagyu beef with a higher BMS scores is more expensive. Considered the best beef in the world, the BMS with 12 of Wagyu beef is specially prized for its highest value, in addition to the BMS scale. The price of Wagyu beef also depends on many other factors such as age, origin, and market. The most common type of marbling is A5 marbling, with a BMS scale of 8 to 12, with thick marbling and even distribution on the meat. A5 Wagyu beef has a delicious flavor. It is soft and fatty, and it is dramatically popular around the world. According to the International Wagyu Association, A5 Wagyu beef accounts for about 70% of total Wagyu beef production in the world. Widely sold in many countries such as Japan, the United States, Australia, Brazil, and Korea, 
A5 Wagyu beef is the top choice for culinary enthusiasts. In addition to A5 Wagyu beef, marbling grades as A4, A3, and A2 are also available on the international market. However, their popularity is lower than of A5 marbling. A5 Wagyu beef is a delicate and a unique culinary dish, often prepared in many different methods at famous restaurants. A5 Wagyu beef is processed into steaks, with the meat being cut into pieces about 1.5 to 2 centimeters thick. Steaks are often grilled on a charcoal or gas stove to retain the typical flavor and deliciousness of the meat. Normally, the price of such a meal can range from $100 to $500. Reputable restaurants such as Go Beef Restaurants in New York, USA can charge up to $150 for a meal of grilled A5 Wagyu beef. Meanwhile, Wagyu Matsusaka restaurant in Tokyo, Japan can set a price of $300 for a similar meal. Have you ever thought one day to go to these expensive restaurants to have this expensive meal? Let us know in the comment section how was your experience like. And for now, let's continue watching the rest of the video. Each method of raising pigs has its own advantages and disadvantages. Almost all farms in the world raise livestock according to a modern model, strictly managing the pigs on the farm in a scientific way. The farm uses automatic feeding and water supply systems. Mother pigs and piglets on the farm will be provided with the same feed until they're moved to separate raising areas. When piglets reach the age for fattening, they are moved to a separate farm area. Here, you will also be able to live with a herd of pigs of relatively similar age and weight. They are cared for and fed according to a small pig diet. The farm owner will hang different objects for them to play with. This helps piglets reduce stress and develop better in cage. This farm's waste treatment system is quite special. The floor plate system at the bottom will collect faces and move them to the outside disposal area. This system is completely automatic and operates regularly. After being discharged, the amount of waste will be pushed into the waste filter tank by the wiper bar. In addition, the farm system also attaches cameras to the farm to easily monitor the condition of pigs, thanks to the camera system. Farm owners can easily detect pig diseases to promptly respond. Thanks to the cameras, as farm owners can easily detect pig diseases to promptly respond. Farm owners can detect abnormalities in the farming process, thereby making appropriate adjustments to ensure the health and growth of pigs. Pig farms should be equipped with camera systems to ensure the health and growth of pigs, while improving farming efficiency as well. As they grow larger, providing them with grains and green foods is very important. Most farms will provide pig farms with mixed feeds, 
such as corn silage and agricultural grains, so that pigs have enough nutrients for high productivity. After a few months, the pigs can go to the pig's tea. Pigs of sufficient weight are brought into the pressing area on the farm. Pigs are put through a washing machine, one by one, to clean off dirt on their bodies. This helps removing bacteria and impurities on the surface of the pig, helping to ensure food safety and hygiene. Each pig will go to an infusion system that uses CO2 gas to make the pig faint. The CO2 gas will cause pigs to lose consciousness without feeling pain. Pigs are soaked in hot water to soften their fur. Then the pig hair is removed with an epilator or by burning the hair follicles. Pigs are cut open to separate the organs and head. The carcass will be cleaned, then divided in half lengthwise. The carcass is washed and moved to another area. Here, the carcass is divided into parts such as shoulder meat, tenderloin, pork belly, etc. The meat will be packaged and divided into different areas. Spam was the first canned meat in 1936, when J. Harmel, president of Harmel Foods Corporation, was looking for a way to use pork shoulder, a part of pork that at the same time was rarely used because it is difficult to process. Until now, the canned meat production process is still used using simpler steps. The main ingredient for making canned pork is fresh pork. Pork is thoroughly inspected before being put into production. If the piece of meat is too large, cut it into smaller pieces for easier handling. Then the pork is grounded into smaller pieces, about one inch in size. The pork pieces are poured into the box according to the specific weight. Then. A sea salt cube is placed in each meat box. Sea salt helps flavor pork and helps preserving it longer. The meat box is sealed using a capping machine. Then, the meat box is put into a pressure cooker for pasteurization. Pasteurization helps kill bacteria and preserve meat longer. After pasteurization, the meat box is cooled and labeled. Product labels include information about product name, ingredients, production date, and expiration date. The shelf life of canned pork is five years. This is because the pork is cooked properly and the container is straight. Canned pork is a convenient and healthy food choice. Canned pork is high in nutrients including protein, iron, vitamin B12 and more. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.